Hello, it is World Wide Web Wednesday, November 14th, 2018. Steve Cypress here with another spectacularly beautiful sunset on another spectacularly beautiful day. A little on the chilly side, uh, only got up uh, to the low 70s today. Ooh, ah, yes, we are spoiled here in sunny Arizona with beautiful purple skies. I don't know if you can see it all around. Beautiful purple, yellow, and blue skies. Tim is here, Toby's here, great seeing you. Real short, quick, simple uh, tip today on World Wide Website, and it's regarding your website, and this is something nobody even had to think about uh, about 10 years ago, but it's called responsive. Make sure your site is responsive. Now, what does that mean? It doesn't mean make sure that you are talking to people after they talk to you, not responding in that way. But when it comes to websites, responsive simply means that the underlying design of your website is noticing what type of device people are viewing your website on and it responds accordingly to the exact size and the type of display necessary. Because there's all different sizes of cell phones and tablets and iPads and desktops and laptops and whatever it is, when you have a responsive site, it's going to show up well and be easily navigatable and people can actually fill in forms and read information and do whatever it is you want them to do without getting frustrated and just immediately going away from your website and finding a competitor and dealing with them. So if you've ever had that happen, you go to a website and then you end up like trying to enlarge it and like, ooh, and it's, you know, because the website, the, the, the business owner did not pay attention to this big tip. They did not get the website developer to make the site responsive. Now, I will say that nowadays almost every site is, but just in case it is not, make sure you check on multiple devices. Make sure you let your web designer know my site is not responsive. Had a couple of uh, strategy sessions with prospects this morning. If you want one yourself, you go to helpfromsteve.com, helpfromsteve.com. And uh, so I went to their websites to check them out before the call so I could be prepared and help them out the best. And sure enough, both of them were several years old and were not responsive. And so I realized, even though hopefully you're watching this video, this tip is not meaningful to you, You've already clicked away and saying, yeah, I know that, Steve. That's too basic for me. Uh, but just in case, right now, well, as soon as this video ends in about 10 seconds, go onto your cell phone, your tablet, your laptop, and check out your website on all kinds of different devices with all kinds of different browsers and making, make sure it shows up correctly and the photos aren't all over the place and it isn't so small you can't read it and all that kind of stuff. So the key word of the day today on World Wide Web Wednesday is responsive. Make sure your site is responsive to make it easy for people to respond to you. And Toby says functionality is important. Test it yourself or ask a few friends to surf it exactly or do both because I live in an and world, not an or world. So I'll test it myself. I'll ask clients to test it before, especially before you ever spend one dime of money doing any kind of advertising or marketing. Make sure that your website is working properly and all the functionality behind it is as well. All the follow-ups or any emails that are going out, notifications you're getting, notifications your sales team is getting, your administrative staff is getting, and so forth. So the behind the scenes stuff massively important. Don't fall for a website design that just looks good on the outside. Make sure it's working well on the inside. Make sure you test it. And that'll do it for World Wide Web Wednesday. Thanks, Toby, and everyone else here live, everyone on the replay. And I'll be back tomorrow on Throwback Thursday. We'll reach into the vault and we'll pull out something fun and interesting and I'll share it with you tomorrow. Hope you'll be here then. Have a great rest of your evening. Catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.